Okay, so we're going to talk about weight carriage. And what I'm talking about specifically is how you sit into your pelvis. So for example, if I've got my feet together and I bend my left knee and I relax, I'll sink down into this right hip. Same thing on the other side. If I bend my right knee and relax, I'll sink down into this left hip. Now that sinking down and relaxing into the hip is your starting point for being able to start manipulating the carriage of your weight and therefore the shape of your body. You're going to use this weight carriage to body shape. So we have a few different uh, reference points, but before we do that, let's talk a little bit about some basic posture and technique before we get into sitting into the hip and hitting these different weight carriages. So you're going to always start off with one foot ahead of the other. Now, if I, I'm not a ballet dancer, but as I understand it, if you put your heel into the big groove of the big toe here on the other foot, that would be a closed fourth. We're going to open that up just a little bit, and that will be an open fourth. Okay, not a big stance. Just go ahead and put the, the heel into the groove of the big toe, and then just open it a little bit. That's where you start. Now, it's, we're not going to get too rigid with the rules on that, but it's, the point is, is just to have turnout in the feet and to have one foot out in front of the other. Okay. So if I sit into this right hip, which I'm doing, if I weren't sitting into either hip, it would be like this. Me sitting into the hip is there. So you can see me sitting down already creates the curve of the hip. For women, this is particularly important because you're supposed to utilize natural things that are already there in the body. So if you have wider hips, it's nice to sit into there because you have this tool, you have dimension already. And if you sit into the hip, it accentuates that dimension and exploits it. So my feet are slightly turned out. I'm sitting back here into this hip, my left foot's slightly forward. Now if I rock forward and drop the heel here and sit into both hips equally, this is kind of weight in between. So this is a different way of carrying your weight. And then finally, if I shift my weight all the way into this front hip and lift my back heel, lengthening both legs without locking the knees out per se, this would be weight forward. So seen from side view, this is weight back, between, and all the way forward. Between, and all the way back. Notice my spine does not change, it stays long. Also notice that I'm not moving my upper body in space very much. It's all happening in the hips. From here, weight back to weight forward, you can see my upper body doesn't move in space very far forward or back. But what does happen is it looks much different just because of which hip I'm sitting into. So that's another thing we're talking about when we talk about shaping. Uh, so this is one shape and one expressive uh, way of holding my weight already, which is more aggressive. Here, weight between, this is a more active, like I could go in any direction. And weight back is a little bit more relaxed and grounded. So they're all saying different things. You want to get really good at just getting, being able to be just comfortable in any of those, whether it be back, between, or forward. Now you can also do an exercise where you go from back all the way forward, and then all the way back. And then switch feet, back to forward, and all the way back. So you've got this thing going on here. Forward, all the way back. Forward, all the way back. Now we're going to use spinal rotation as well. So I'm going to have my shoulders in opposition to my foot. And as I come through, my feet are going to pivot a little bit. My hips are going to go slightly to this corner, whereas they were there before. And the shoulders really go forward. And then as I go, using that spinal rotation to get back in the original position, then I switch. Now my shoulders are on this corner, my hips are on this corner, and I'm going to go from weight back to between and forward, and between and forward. Now I do pivot on my plantas, they do pivot a little bit, actually quite a bit, to there. My hips do go from side to side, but the upper body always goes further than the hips do. So if my hips are on this corner, my, I should start with my shoulders there. And then as I come forward, 
and the shoulders are on this corner, the hips are not quite as cornered as my shoulders, and back. Okay, then you can apply seventh position. You're here, seventh position, weight back, weight between, weight forward, between, back, switch, all the way through, all the way back. So work on that, and uh, we can start building off of that base.